On November 15th, 2000, a company tried a weird new business model that would change the world forever and it would make it easy for anyone to get an online job. And after this change was made, this company would go from a penny stock to one of the most valuable companies the world has ever seen. The company was Amazon.com and the weird new method they tried is what's known as the platform business model. And this is the business model that now almost every super successful company in the entire world uses. Instead of trying to create as many products as they possibly could, they enabled people who were already experts on the subject to create products and post them on their website. This resulted in a better product, a better customer experience, more money for Amazon, and it made it easier for normal people to make money online. So it was basically a win-win-win for everybody involved. And now there are thousands of different websites that will allow you to make money online with the skills that you already have or skills that are very easy to learn. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make over $34 an hour with at-home typing jobs where you can get paid as soon as today. And these jobs are going to range from side hustles to part-time work to full-time work to a full-blown career. So this is going to be good for you no matter what you're looking for. And most of them are going to be easy to get into and require zero money up front to start. And the first one is going to be great for you if you like typing to people but not necessarily talking to them. And that's going to be an appointment setter. Now, I actually know several people doing this and you can easily make it to six figures if you know what you're doing and it's very easy to get into. And appointment setters are kind of like being the ultimate wingman, except instead of setting up dates for your friend, you're going to be setting appointments for a sales closer. And in the sales cycle, there is typically a setter and a closer. The closer is the person who has to be really good at sales and talk to people on the phone for like an hour. And the setter is the person who sets up appointments for the closer. Now, a lot of the time for the appointment setting position, this is gonna involve answering emails, answering DMs. And in some cases, you will actually be prospecting for leads as well. And you're gonna spend the vast majority of your time typing to other people. And the reason you're able to make such good money with this is because you get to earn money through what's known as commission. So let's say you work for a company that sells software, for instance, and they they try to partner with other businesses. And if you're able to close a contract for $100,000, you might end up getting a $5,000 commission. Now, overall, appointment setters make about $45,000 a year. And appointment setting is great for those who want to work from home, have flexible hours, and want the ability to work in a variety of different industries. So there are pretty much always great job opportunities available for appointment setters. Now, a great way to get started with this is to reach out to companies that sell what are known as high ticket products. High ticket products typically are going to be at least least $3,000. And a lot of the time you are going to be dealing with companies who do what is known as B2B sales. That is business to business sales, because typically individual people are not going to be buying high ticket products. However, companies buy high ticket products that are over $10,000 all the time. So some of the pros of this one are it has a flexible schedule. You get to work from home. You have the ability to work in a variety of industries and you have the potential for a high earning career. Some of the cons in this one is it can be stressful. And in certain roles, you may be required to prospect or find your own leads. But yeah, this is one way that you can basically get paid to type away. And this one is gonna get an opportunity score of nine out of 10. Now, the next one on the list is a career where you may actually get to be paid to watch your favorite movies and TV shows. And that's going to be closed captioning and transcription. Now, this is a flexible in-demand job that can be done from anywhere. And it's one of the easiest jobs to get into. This one is great if you're somebody who doesn't really know when you're going to have free time, but you do wanna take extra jobs here and there because it is seriously easy to get started with transcription. And closed captioners make about $40,000 a year. And it is seriously easy to get started in transcription and closed captioning. For instance, you could start on a website like transcribeme.com. And there's honestly dozens of different websites where you can get started with this. And a lot of the time, people who do transcription will work with many different websites at once. Now, some of the pros of this one are going to include flexibility, the opportunity to watch content as a part of your job, and the potential for steady work. Some of the cons include the need for really good typing skills, attention to detail, and the fact that if you type a lot, it can put a lot of strain on your fingers. So you definitely want to get an ergonomic keyboard. And as a side note, getting a really nice keyboard was probably one of the best purchases I have ever made. Highly recommend it. So in summary, if you love the sound of your own fingers tapping away at a keyboard for hours on end, then closed captioning and transcribing might be the perfect job for you. This one is going to get an opportunity score of 7 out of 10. The next one on the list is going to be great for 
are people who are natural born multitaskers with lightning fast typing skills and a talent for solving people's problems. And that is going to be a chat agent. And chat agents are kind of like online sheriffs, patrolling the internet to keep customers happy and making sure that situations don't escalate. They're the first line of defense against frustrated shoppers and the last line of defense against online trolls. And this is basically where you give customer service, except instead of chatting over the phone, you're going to be typing to people in real time. And lots of surveys and studies have shown that having live chat support on your website increases customer satisfaction. And I have to admit, that's probably my favorite way of getting customer support as well. And chat agents make about $36,000 a year. And again, this is one that is very, very easy to start. I know $36,000 a year doesn't sound that great, but you can literally do it from anywhere in the world. And it is super easy to get into. And a lot of the ones on this list you can do from anywhere in the world. So you can live in a country where you can live like a king on about $1,500 a month. So there are lots of companies that hire chat agents and you would want to apply to one of those companies. So for instance, Drip is a company that's almost always hiring for this job if you look at flexjobs.com. Some of the pros are going to be flexible hours, you can work remotely, there's no phone calls, and there are opportunities for advancement. Some of the cons here are it can be somewhat repetitive, you are going to have to deal with unhappy customers, and there can be high pressure to meet performance metrics. And by the way, I have some resources to get into a lot of these different jobs. Uh, most of the resources are either free or very affordable, so I'll put those resources down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. But the opportunity score here is going to be 7.5 out of 10. The next one on the list is going to be great for you if you want to work in healthcare without having to actually touch any bodily fluids. And that is going to be a medical scribe. And a medical scribe is kind of like a doctor's sidekick that will write down things that they say during patient interviews and will also transcribe the ancient language that is almost unreadable that is also known as doctor's handwriting. And some medical scribes will actually accompany doctors in person, but a lot of the time it will be done remotely. Now this one is a phenomenal career for you to get your foot in the door in the healthcare industry. I know a bunch of people who later on went on to become healthcare professionals like doctors, pharmacists, PAs, nurse practitioners, etc. that started off as medical scribes. And this is a great way to become familiar with different medical terminology, diagnosis codes, etc. It's also a really good way to network and meet a bunch of people who are already working in healthcare. Now the requirements for becoming a medical scribe are going to be different depending on the state that you live in. But typically there is a short training program and a lot of the time it will be offered by the hospital that you're going to work for. And there's also a ton of different medical scribe companies such as Scribe America that you can apply for. So pros of being a medical scribe are you get to work in healthcare without direct patient care, you get to gain valuable experience and knowledge, and there's opportunity for remote work. Some of the cons can include the potential for long and unpredictable hours, and there can be high levels of stress at times. This one gets an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. Now the next one on the list is going to be great for you if you're a fan fan of lawyer TV shows, or if you're just somebody who really enjoyed keeping up with famous trials like the Johnny Depp trial. And that is going to be a court reporter or a scoper. Now, most court reporter jobs are typically going to be in person. Although with everything that happened in the world, a lot of them did end up becoming remote, but a lot of them are going back to being in person again. However, most scoper or scopist jobs are remote. And basically the relationship between the scopist and the court reporter is kind of like the relationship between an editor and a writer. The court reporter are going to be capturing every single word that's said in a trial and the scopists are going to make sure that everything is correct and on the transcript everything a person was said was actually recorded correctly and there are a lot of opportunities for remote jobs with court reporters but there's even more opportunities for remote jobs with scopists and court reporters make about fifty two thousand dollars a year now because of the fact that becoming a scopist is a very seasonal job a lot of the time you're going to make more money during certain months of the year there's actually a lot of opportunity to become a scopist and it's very easy to get into. Court reporter is a little harder to get into, but it's still not that difficult. But typically you are going to have to attend a court reporting program and get certified, but it doesn't take too long. So some of the pros of this one are there's very high demand, you have the ability to work remotely, and there's good pay. Some of the cons here are you're going to have long periods of sitting, typing can be physically taxing, and the job can be somewhat mentally demanding as you do have to type down every word. So if you're a fast typer with a passion for law and the ability to sit down and type for long periods of time, then court reporting might be perfect for you. And who knows, you might get to witness a juicy trial or two, like the Johnny Depp trial. My dog stepped on a bee. <laughs> The opportunity score here is going to be seven out of 10. The next one on the list is gonna be for people who are really busy, but they wanna make a little bit of extra money on the side. In some cases, you can even do this while you're 
having an appointment with nature, if you know what I mean. And that is going to be becoming an Amazon Mechanical Turk worker. And this is basically where you do micro tasks that are really repetitive, the companies need to be done every single day. And these tasks might literally take like five minutes, but they are things that typically do need to be done all the time. So these are things that companies do not want to hire a full-time or a part-time person to do, but they still need to get done. And a lot of the time, these tasks are going to involve typing. And on a lot of the different side hustle subreddits and forums, across the internet, this is one of the most popular ways to make extra money online. And according to Glassdoor, people who do this full time can make up to $43,000 a year. And you can get started by applying at mturk.com. So some of the pros of this one is you can work whenever you want from wherever you want, and there's always plenty of work available. Some of the cons is the pay can be low, so you need to be selective about which jobs you take, and the work can be really monotonous. This one gets a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now the next one on the list is going to be great for you if you're passionate about writing and being creative. And that is going to be a content writer. Now, this is one that I actually did myself, and this is probably the first time I ever worked remote. I started off by writing SEO optimized blog articles, and that's what eventually led me to writing YouTube scripts and making YouTube videos. And in my opinion, all good content online, whether it's podcasts, videos, blogs, email lists, newsletters, etc., all good content comes from good writing. And a content writer is like a magician with words. Using their craft to captivate and engage audiences with everything from blog posts to product descriptions. And content marketing is the fastest growing type of marketing on the entire internet. Basically, everything is shifting to content. And content writers on average make about $49,000 a year. But I can tell you that certain types of content writing pay way more than others. For instance, I think one of the biggest opportunities is becoming a YouTube script writer. Just about every YouTuber I know know has trouble hiring for this position. And if you are a good YouTube scriptwriter, you are pretty much guaranteed to have a job. And you can pretty much name your price. Now there's literally like hundreds of different websites that you can get started on, but one really good one is going to be problogger.com. This is one that I know a lot of business owners like to hire from. So some of the pros of content writing include the ability to work remote, a flexible schedule, and the chance to work on a variety of projects. Cons can include tight deadlines, the need to constantly adapt to different writing styles. And this is why I highly recommend that you actually just pick a niche and become an expert on that niche and also writer's block. And this is something that I get sometimes and it is terrible. So if you're ready to put your love of words to work, content writing could be a great opportunity for you. And this is something that I see growing and getting much bigger in the future. Not to be mean or anything, but there's not that many good writers out there for the different types of content. There's plenty of good blog writers, for instance, but there's just about no good YouTube script writers. The opportunity score here is going to be a perfect 10 out of 10. Now, if you're somebody who has no experience, but you wanna get a really good remote job, I actually made a video about the 13 best remote jobs. You can check that out by clicking right here.